This is the film story of five friends who came to another city for a holiday. All the friends go to the club and have a lot of fun. One of them has a friend whose name was Jesse. He tells her that I have found out about a place, why don't we go there and party? A friend whose name was Amy, when she goes there with all her friends, she goes there and asks about the washroom. When she was looking for the washroom, she sees a lot of pictures on the wall. Anyone who asks her what are you doing here, when he sees the pictures, he says that it may be of those people who live here first. Amy also listens to him and then the two go away from here. A girl comes to the party there, who had a tattoo on her body. She asks Amy, have you come from America? Amy says yes, we have come here to spend some holidays. Then she goes to her friend and tells him to dance with her. She also tells that I have a parlor, where I do tattoo work. Hearing this, Amy's friend says, yes, I also want to get a tattoo. Amy also tells her to go with him. When the two of them come to the parlor with that girl, where there were a lot of pictures of tattoos, both are very happy to see this. Amy asks, who has this tattoo made on? That girl says this human skin, it is made on the human skin. Hearing this, Amy and her friend were surprised. They think maybe she is joking. After which the girl says, you sit here, I will call my master, who makes tattoos. When she goes down, after a while her master comes there, who was a tattoo artist and also the owner of this place. He comes and asks, who among the two of you has to get a tattoo? Amy says, I have to get it done. Now the artist tells his friend, go down with my assistant, she will take care of you. And until I make Amy a tattoo, here the artist asks Amy, what kind of tattoo do you want to get? She says, so that I can remember my past moments. Hearing this, the artist says, after a long time a girl has come, who wants to get such a tattoo. Everyone else copies. For them, getting this tattoo is just a fashion. Nothing else. The tattoo is actually the same, which reminds you of something. He gives Amy a book and says, look at this, choose a tattoo for yourself. Here Amy asks him, is this tattoo really made on the human skin? The artist says, yes, absolutely, you have been told the truth, it is really made on the human skin. On the other hand, Amy's friend, who was with the girl with the tattoo, becomes unconscious. Here, when the artist starts making a tattoo on Amy's neck, she also becomes unconscious. When these two come to their senses, they themselves become blind. Amy's friend asks him, what do you want to take from us? Look, leave us, I am ready to give you a lot of money in return. But the artist says, no, I want your skin. I don't do all this for money. That's when Amy also came to her senses. When she sees her friend tied up like this, she screams. The artist goes to her and says, look, why are you scared? Don't be afraid. I won't say anything to you, you are my favorite. You will understand my work very soon and will also support me. Saying this, he goes to Amy's friend. First, his arm tattoo separates his skin, then his stomach skin. He tells her, you know, my dog loves human ears, food, and cuts his ears and feeds his dog. His assistant takes his skin up, on which he was going to make a special kind of tattoo. The artist finally cuts Amy's friend's feet so that his blood flows and he dies. She cries a lot seeing her friend's condition, but she can't do anything. The next morning, Amy's other friends find out that Amy and her friend have not come yet. Seeing this, she was now worried about her friends. They decide to find them. As soon as he tells them that they both went to get a tattoo with the girl who was at the party last night, there was an artist in the parlor. When he was with Amy, he says to her, I am going to make a special ink tattoo on your face that you will like very much. Amy cries, says, please let me go, I don't want anything from you. Here, Amy's friends look at the tattoo shop, but their friends were not finding them anywhere. 
When they were passing through a street, there were some kids sitting there who started teasing them. Jesse gets very angry about this and he starts hitting them. His friends explain to him that let them go, we have to find our friends. After which all of them reach that parlor, so they meet the same artist there and ask him about Amy and his friend. He says, yes, they both came last night, but they left after getting a tattoo. He says, he brought a girl here who had a tattoo on her arm. He says, she is my assistant, but she is not here right now. They all listen to this artist and start going. But on the way, one of their friends sees a picture there which was his friend's tattoo which he had made on his arm. She gets a little excited to see it, but ignores it. After their departure, the artist comes to Amy and says that your friends had come who were asking about you. Amy says, why don't you leave me? What do you want from me? He says, I will leave you very soon and then you will stay here and work with me. He tells Amy to look at his face. When Amy sees her face in the mirror, she cries a lot. Amy says, I have made a tattoo on his face. All four friends decide to file a police report that their friends are missing. But Jesse says, no, the police will not write our report because they have not even been missing for 24 hours. Then a friend shows a picture of his friend. The same tattoo on his arm on which he says that I have seen the same tattoo in that parlor. Jesse says, and now he had come to a bar. There his friends reach the parlor and ask that girl about their friends. She says that your friends are in the basement below. They all go to the basement listening to her. Suddenly, that girl and artist attack everyone. After which everyone was unconscious. When they come to their senses, they were all tied up. Amy's friend shouts a lot, but they cut her throat with a knife. Amy was also crying a lot. After which we are shown that he had gone to an artist and gives him pictures made on human skin for which he gives him a lot of money. Here we know that he used to work for a big family who used to get his pictures made on human skin and frame them and put them in his house. Amy was tied to her friend. Her friend's rope opens and she attacks the tattooed girl and was also trying to get Amy released. Amy tells her to go away from here. Run away, go out and call for help. Hearing this, her friend runs away. On the way, she sees the same children who were killed by Jesse. Now because she wanted to take revenge, that's why she was looking for them. As soon as they see her, they run to catch her. On the way, the artist also sees them who was in his car. The children are following the girl whom they had caught. Amy's friend runs a lot and asks for help but no one helps her. The road ahead was closed so the children catch her and beat her a lot. Then the artist came there who shoots the children and kills them and then Amy's friend. When the girl with the tattoo comes to her senses, she comes to Amy and says that everything happened because of you. You have helped your friend to run away and in anger she was about to pluck a tooth then the artist comes there who stops her and goes to Amy. She asks him that what do you want from him? He takes her to a place where there were a lot of pictures. The artist says that today I am going to tell you my secret. Many years ago in Russia, people used to make their pictures on their skin by killing their enemies. The Russian king also used to make those pictures in return of which he used to give a lot of money. Outside, when the girl with the tattoo opens the door, it was Chelsea outside who came with a girl. She brought her friend here to get a tattoo. She says sit down, I will make a tattoo. Now Chelsea goes to the basement and sees her friends dead and when he comes upstairs he sees Amy. She tells him that the artist has imprisoned us here. He has caught us. Jesse says to the artist that this is wrong. Our deal was only to kill my friend. You killed everyone. Here we come to know that Amy's friend Jesse was involved with this artist. Here the artist shows him the picture he made which he had made on his friend's skin. But Amy does not understand anything. She now asks, the artist on whom he tells that your friend is from his family. Every year these people bring their friends here and they make their pictures on someone's skin. 
Amy understood that her friend is involved with the artist. But now Jesse did not want to hurt Amy too. But the artist now injects it and makes it unconscious. Being unconscious, Jesse says that my dad will not leave you. Outside, the girl with the tattoo also kills the girl who Jesse had brought with her. Amy was now free. She goes to the girl with the tattoo and cuts her throat and kills her. The artist also caught Jesse. He tells Amy that if you want, you can kill her and avenge the death of your friends because she had brought all of you here, she says no. She should also get the same punishment as my friends died in pain. After that, the artist also separates Jesse's skin from her body. After this, a scene is shown after a while, where the artist was sitting and making a tattoo on a man's neck. Some more people come there, then Amy comes there, who tells those people that you are welcome in this parlor. And we see Amy's picture on the wall which she had made on Jesse's skin. This means that she had also met the artist. Amy also started working with the artist because after the death of her friends, she had no special purpose in life. So sometimes we get stuck in such places to fulfill our desires, like poor Amy got stuck and because of her her friends died. So don't go anywhere else and ever listen to anyone, you can get into trouble. Take care of yourself and your loved ones. With this, the movie ends here.